Hey, uh, this is a tutorial on uh, using JavaScript, and we'll be focusing on using uh, the JavaScript math.random function and how this can be used. And I'll be showing it a quick example as well. Alright, so first of all, uh, I'll show you the basics of using the math.random function to create a random number in JavaScript. Uh, here on my page, I've just got the basic header tags, a body tag, and I'm including the jQuery library. Right here I've got my JavaScript script tags, and here I'm using the jQuery document.ready function, which means once the document has loaded, we'll be executing the script that's inside of this. So, first thing, to create a random number in in JavaScript, you use the math function and then dot random, and that's basically it. If we want to echo this, or basically alert this out onto the page like this, and we save this and come back to the page and refresh it, and basically it'll give us a number between zero and one, and it'll be quite a long decimal. So this isn't exactly what we want, so we'll be changing this around a little bit. Uh, first of all, we'll want a number between 0 and 300. So we'll just times it by 300, and this will give us a number between 0 and 300. Okay, so we've got a number between 0 and 300, but we still got a decimal, so we want to change that as well. And to do this, we can use another JavaScript function, and that's math.floor. And what this will do is it will basically round the number down to the next number. So when we refresh it, we have now 284, which is a whole number, and that's more what we want. So that's basically the basics of using random numbers. And I'm going to do a quick example of how this could be used. So, uh, let me just go and show you something. Right, so, as we can see here, uh, browsers use RGB colors. And they take three numbers, each of which is a number between 0 and 255. And so, what if we could randomly generate colors by using random numbers? And yeah, to, to demonstrate this, uh, I've created a quick example. And I've got basically already written the code, but I'll explain it in a second. Right, first of all, I'll show what it does. So I'll just save this, and I'll refresh the page here. And as you can see, it generates lots of boxes with absolutely random colors. If we refresh it again, it generates new colors. And yeah, I'll go over how it works. So basically, inside of the document already function, we're using a for loop. And you should be fam familiar with for loops. Basically, what we're doing is we're setting a variable called i to 0. And then while it's smaller than 50, we're adding one to that variable i and executing what's in between these brackets. So then what we're doing is we're creating three variables, a, b, and c, and basically their value is basically exactly what we did before. We create a random number that is somewhere between 0 and 300. So each one of these will be a number between 0 and 300. Uh, what we do next is using jQuery, we say uh, jQuery and then body, so we're uh, referencing this element, and then we're saying dot append, which basically adds it to the end, so it'll create basically another box. And what we're saying here is we're creating the div element, 
uh, here's the closing tag and instead of here we're saying style and we're setting the background to an RGB color and if, if you just take a quick look at this you can see we're saying RGB then we're opening a bracket then we're putting in uh, the first random number then we're separating that with a comma then the second number again a comma then the third number and then we're closing it with another bracket and yeah then we're specifying after that we're specifying the height and width and we're also saying that it will be an inline block which will basically just um, make make all the boxes align nicely so when we save this and refresh the page here you can see each box is getting a random color and has a height of height and width of 200 pixels yeah alright so that was a quick tutorial on random numbers and how they can be used thanks for watching